What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for the information I have to share with you today. If you've ever been interested in buying property or buying land abroad, or specifically in on the island of Rathan, this video is for you or someone you know. Okay, today I'm gonna to be interviewing an amazing woman who's doing the damn thing when it comes to real estate. And the most exciting part about it is that she's local, she's actually my cousin, but she's been doing her thing for over like 10, 13 years, about 16, wow. Before we continue, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, for those of you who are just now tuning in, I moved from New York to Rathan in 2011, and a lot has happened. I learned so much. So on my channel, on my platform, I like to share information that I learned to help you on your journey if you're thinking about moving abroad or moving specifically here to Rathan, all right? So without further ado, let's get started, and I'm going to introduce y'all to my cousin and real estate guru here on the island, Miss Malena. Thank you. Thank you so much, Audrey, for the space, for the opportunity to be on here. I'm very happy to share very important information with you. My name is Melina Matute. I'm the broker of Remax on Roatan. Nice. So, okay, y'all, I have four questions, and I'm going to be looking back and forth on my computer. I have four questions um, that are common questions for people thinking about buying property or land here. All right, so if you see me looking back and forth, I'm, I'm looking at my computer so we won't get confused. All right, so let's go with question number one. All right, how can you invest in Rathan if you're a foreigner? Okay, as a foreigner, actually, you can own up to 3,000 square meters of land. Okay. Um, anything about that, you have to form a Honduran corporation. Mm -hmm. So attorneys have different opinions in whether or not you should form a corporation for a property under 3,000 square meters, but it's really up to the purchaser to decide if they want a corporation if they're acquiring a property under 3,000 square meters. So anything about that does require a corporation. All right, so now let's go to question number two. Malena, you mentioned you have to create a corporation or a business if you buy X amount of land. Mm -hmm. So the next question I have for you is as a foreigner, how do you create this business entity if you do plan on buying more than the limited amount of land. So, um, you know, when we get this type of clients, we refer them to one of our Honduran attorney that would actually help you put everything together. They would help you get your license, per operating permit, whatever is necessary, your residency card, and they will get you going. Okay, for, uh, for someone who lives in the U.S., and but they're a Honduran citizen or the children of Honduran citizens, what are some of the benefits or adv benefits, advantages of being this Honduran citizen when it comes to buying land? Okay, so very good question. Mm -hmm. So as a Honduran, you do not have any limits for land ownership. So you can buy over 3,000 square meters you do not need a corporation. You also have the possibility of financing, acquiring financing through a Honduran bank. So that's one of the main benefit that the Honduran has in owning land in, in Roatan. But the child also needs to be declared as a Honduran. So if you're a Honduran citizen mm -hmm. or a Honduran born in the US, and parents are from Honduras. <laughs> so the um, you have to do the registration process in Honduras for, you call it in Spanish, Hondureños nacidos en el extranjero, meaning Honduran born abroad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last question I have is, what are the closing costs like over here? Okay, so um, what we as real estate agent does, mm -hmm. our agent here in Roatan, we have a list of attorneys that we work with as a company. So we share that list of attorney with our, our purchaser, or we ask, do you have a specific attorney that you work with? Mm -hmm. So if they do not have their attorney, we suggest a few attorneys to them. So the attorney and notary, they're responsible for the due diligence of the property to make sure there's no liens on the property. The attorney actually will draw the closing draw for you, make sure everything is in order. If you need to get an RTN card, the attorney can help you with that as well. And the average closing costs are four to 6% of purchase price. Nice, nice, thanks. 
Do you have any, those were my questions, but is there something in your mind that you think we should mention? Well, um, you know, <laughs> what I must say, most properties on the market are negotiable. So we consider that asking price. That doesn't mean that's the final price of the property. So always keep that in mind. Yeah, so don't get, don't be afraid, y'all. And I just, I want to thank you so much. It doesn't end here, guys, because Malena's going to take me on a tour to one of the homes that she has listed for sale. And I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to show you guys the possibilities when it comes to um, purchasing a home or purchasing land over here. So we're going to do yeah, a quick sure. virtual <laughs> tour. <laughs> right? Absolutely. All right, so let's go. Today we are at the Adobe House located in the community of Brick Bay. This home features three bedroom, three bath, open concept, vanilla floor, PVC ceilings. The price of this home is $250,000. The house sits on 0.27 of an acre, which gives you lots of room for expansion. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you found this information helpful, please share with somebody else. In the meantime, if you're seriously looking to buy house or buy land in Roatan, I have a questionnaire in the description box below. You can fill it out and I'm gonna share with Malena and her and the rest of her team can help you get started on your real estate journey in this beautiful island of Roatan. So thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.